Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about the new defense rider, Kasima, and all her stats and who I think would benefit most from getting Kasima to replace their current defense rider. We're also going to talk about uh, the fortification construction bonus and what I recommend doing for that because Kasima does not have any construction reduction, which I think is just fine. Before we get into that, I wanted to make a comment about Lavia Draconis, my team who is looking for new players. I'm sure you know recruiting is a constant thing. So uh, if you are interested, we are currently in need of more members who are interested in a Platinum 1 team. We are going to be moving back down to Platinum because for several reasons I won't get into. But if you are looking for a new team, we would like to either step down from Sapphire or you're on a gold team or a lower Platinum team or you're just ready for a change and you'd like to join our team, then let me know uh, in the comments or add me online we'll see about getting you set up for that and now let's take a look at Kasima. first off i'm a fan of the appearance i like the gold it makes her stand out and i really like that dagger that she has let's take a look at her skill tree here so it's sometimes difficult to know what all the stats will be um, with if you don't know which paths you can go down ahead of time and if you don't know how many skill points the rider will have um, but we'll go on to a website which i'll show you shortly and we can play around with it a little bit easier but you can see there's building attack stats uh, there's the farms and mills there's hp stats and then there's these branches that come off which have dark flak attack and hp fire flak attack and hp earth flak electro flak and Ice Flak attack and HP. And uh, this rider actually does not have any construction uh, decrease skill, but I honestly don't feel like that's something anybody should be concerned about. And I've talked to some people about this, and we'll go into that a little bit um, shortly here. So for me personally, I am not sure if I'm going to get Kasima, and we'll go into more detail about why that is. And I actually have Leilani. Kasima is a great defensive rider for, well, for anybody who does not have Krom or Leilani yet, um, or anyone who has a longer island that might have more than one of, say, a Fire Flak or Dark Flak or Earth Flak or Electro Flak or Ice Flak on um, the three islands which their base covers. Now, for me, I actually just built an Ice Flak this past fortification event, and part of the reason for that was because the new Dragon Naha uh, or Naja is very, very, very strong against a base with no ice flak um, and almost impossible to defeat against a base with no ice flak. So I decided that it was time to pull the trigger and get that long awaited ice flak that I've been contemplating for a long time. Now, unfortunately, that means I probably cannot afford an earth flak as well. So I'm going to stick with my dark fire and ice for now. Um, so I have my ice flak on my kill island right now, which means that. Um, I would want to put in the Ice Flak and the Dark Flak boosts, these ones here. Um, <clears throat> and if I did that, it would boost my base stats a little bit, but not very much. And we'll go look at that shortly. But let's say I had um, more max towers. I had, say I had moved to the setup where people have on island 4, 5, and 6. They have a kill island on 6 as well as on 5, and that's a longer kill island. And let's say that both of their f island 5 and 6 had an ice flak, had an earth flak, and a dark flak, maybe even another flak, like a fire flak or an electro flak or whatever else it may be. If you had that many towers that were specific to these stats and it was boosted by your defensive rider on the second perch, that would significantly boost your stats more than just me who has two towers that are gonna get the extra 10% HP and attack. So now let's compare Leilani, Krom, and Kasima. Now this is from uh, Neon War Dragons. I'll put the website in the description so you can access it yourself. It's a great reference to look at all the different riders, attack and defensive riders, and compare them and see what your options are. So for Leilani, 
Milani. This is what I have. I have it set up for more HP, which is 19%, 17.8, and then there's that extra random sheep farm production. And then if we go over and look at Chrom, you can see that Chrom gives 23% tower HP and 18 tower attack, which is better than Leilani. And that extra 3 to 4% HP is a pretty good bonus, but not a massive change overall. I definitely recommend HP. Watch my other videos to more information on that. But um, again, HP helps your towers last longer so you can get an extra heal off so they can get an extra shot or super shot off. So definitely I prefer HP. So now when we compare to Kasima, you can see 20% tower HP and 16% attack. So that is less than Krom. But you still get to choose two towers that you'll give an extra 10% attack and 10% HP to, which may be pretty significant. But in order to really figure that out, you kind of have to crunch the numbers. And I had a friend of mine, Lord of Light, actually put this into a base calculator to show me what the modifications were actually based on the towers I had. So with Leilani, I was getting about 8.34 million attack power and 59.1 million HP. And with Kasima, if you boost my dark flak and ice flak then it comes out to 8.9 and 61 million and so it is a little bit better but it's not drastically different so i'm not sure that it's really worth it for me at this point and the thing about kasima and about Krom is they're atlas defense riders so you can get them whenever you want if you just save your blue shards to claim them now with kasima if I had another, say, Dark Flak on my next island, or say I was on island five and six, and I had a setup where I had an Ice Flak and a Dark Flak on both islands five and six, then this extra 10% attack and HP for both those towers would be increased by double because I would be affecting twice the number of towers. And so that would actually increase the overall attack and HP of my base a little bit more. And in that situation, I think that it would be beneficial. So that's my thoughts on Kasima. Now, really quick, it does not have construction reduction, but I honestly feel like you should get a rider specifically for construction reduction so you do not have to waste points and decrease the actual base bonuses. So I have the Atlas Defense Rider, the generic one that you can get with red shards. It gives the best reduction in the game, which is the minus 12% reduction, and I level it up just enough to get the full 12%. If you don't have Atlas, then pick a rider that is a so-so rider that has a decent construction bonus and then fully put in for all the construction bonus and have a separate rider that you use for your actual base. When it is fortification, swap the rider so you get the construction bonus. Or if you have a second perch to level 30, you can put your construction rider on the second perch that is not actually protecting your towers. And then you have the best of both worlds. You have two riders that are fully benefiting two separate aspects of the game rather than one rider that only minimally benefits both. So I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you in the next video.